There's a pretty clear shoe print. This tire track is quite narrow. Doesn't look like a car tire. If I get in touch with Claire, she may be able to give me more details. I'm not available at the moment. Please call back later. Hi, Claire. I'm sending you a clue to test. A motorcycle tire track. Broken glass. Like a windshield or a car window. These tire tracks were left by a large vehicle. There's something here. A bare footprint. The tracks correspond to those of the pickup truck that was identified as the killer's. This old shack must be at least a century old, if only its walls could talk. <sighs> this painting is depressing. Such drab colors. Half the floorboards are pulled out. scribbled on the newspaper. Who's next? Ah, the serial killer's eternal question. An old dirty oven. <laughs> I wouldn't bake cookies in that. Dirty dishes. Maybe I'll find fingerprints on them. I doubt that Hernandez cooked. She must have left her fingerprint while eating. The fact that she ate is rather encouraging. The killer wants to keep her alive. Yuck, this fridge is disgusting. There's something behind the shelf. like a dumbwaiter. The door's locked, and the call box seems to be out of order. The 
dumbwaiter must be stuck above. I'd need a rope to go down the shaft. The screeching door is the same as the best alarm system in the world. Looks like blood on this piece of rubber. There's been an explosion here. Looks like a stun grenade. A footprint near the explosion. Hatch is closed and the lock looks rusty. It'll never work. The plate is covered with mud. I can't read the number. An aluminum can full of leaves and twigs. old rusty iron brazier. Probably used to burn weeds and debris. There are traces of vegetation. And blackened skulls of little animals. Charming. An archery target. Well used, too. Perhaps we're on the trail of a modern-day Robin Hood. There's an electric fence surrounding the property. The power's been cut. Smells pretty musty in there. This food tray reeks of the chemical cleansers the killer uses. I won't find any fingerprints on it. An old film. The Glass Key. Haven't seen it. Then again, I haven't exactly had much time to become a movie buff. Blue Dahlia. That film came out in 1946, the year before the sad fate of the Black Dahlia. A matchbox. I hope I won't have to use it. This book is about nuclear war. It's from the 50s. A book written by one Stephen Bachman, a horror novel.
A small metalier safe with a digital lock, LK model. I think there are smudges on the buttons of the digital lock. I might be able to get prints. The rest of the prints are no good. Damn. There we go. The safe is open. Screenplays. The House of Terror. The Butcher of Massachusetts. <sighs> wow. An Oscar nomination's practically guaranteed. These stories sound twisted. And so is the hack who wrote them. There's no name on them, though. Fingerprint's not on file. I need to get Claire in on this. Locks of hair. They're labeled. Janet, Olivia, Susan. The killer's victims. This sicko made himself some sort of a morbid reliquary. Oh, on forensic medicine. It's open to the chapter trepanation. This is Claire's kind of thing. Me, not so much. There's a lock of hair being used as a bookmark. But whose? Written by one Stephen Bachman, a horror novel. There's a hiding place here. A piece of wood has been moved. She didn't mention it. So much for teamwork. I think I have something new to help ID the killer. I've scanned a print that's not in my records. I'm sending it to you. Okay, I'll look into it. Do you know what happened to Hawker after he was fired from the FBI? Not really. I think he went into security. I'll ask around, let you know. I have to go. Call me if you've got a problem.
wanted to verify a detail in the room. Nothing important. Have you found anything special in the house? Just clues regarding a local case. Nothing that concerns the FBI. Really? What's it about? We've been looking for a local hunter named Anderson. He's got nothing to do with your killer. Have you taken samples from the house, Sheriff? If so, would you be so kind as to inform me? I poked around. I'm a cop. It's my job. I haven't found anything relevant to your case. If you say so, Sheriff. Don't forget we're supposed to be on the same side. Women's clothes. They may have belonged to the victims. Lock of hair. They have to find out whose. I've already seen this room in the film sent by the killer. It's the ideal place for nightmares. This electronic entryway has been short-circuited. Maybe Hernandez's work? This electronic entryway has been short-circuited. Maybe Hernandez's work? Handcuffs. They don't have pink fur, so I'm guessing they're not for playtime. Hmm. I bet there's something on the mattress. Bad idea. Strand of hair. I better test it. The edge of the mattress is damaged. Bits have been pulled out. Bloodstained bandages. A test is in order. Probably left by the former occupants of this house. There's something on this broken mirror. There's a message smudged on the glass. Held underground. Hernandez must have passed through here to escape. It's quite a fall. Recordings, the killer has called this the Room of Death's Betrothed. That explains the dress. The recordings, the killer has called this the Room of Death's Betrothed. 
That explains the dress. This is a base for our camera. There's a piece of paper in the stove. This is the flyer Hernandez told me about on the phone. Empty medicine bottles. This wasn't just aspirin. These are highly complex formulations. A receipt for medications, or rather medical concoctions. I'm no chemist, but this ain't cough syrup. The pharmacist's stamp is on the receipt. Dan Wilkinson. The pharmacy is in Holton, the county seat. The sheriff might know more. Looks like there's no water here. Terrarium. It's empty. But it looks like it was occupied recently. There are traces of food. Fibers in this sample. Fibers from a sampling pad. Somebody has already proceeded with analysis in this room. Traces of soot. Looks like the beginning of a fire. Shit, I didn't need this. The thought of going in there gives me nausea. Take a deep breath, McPherson. It's impossible to open. This lock is half dismantled. I don't know anything about electronics. The door doesn't look very solid. 